the uh, teams are now coming out onto the pitch and uh, from the corner, which I cannot see because there are people stood up. And Accrington Stanley, the home side, are wearing their uh, red shirts and white shorts. And County tonight in their uh, home strip of amber shirts, black shorts, and uh, amber and uh, black socks as well as they're walking the. Uh, to in front of the main stand here. As I said, your referee for tonight's game is Kevin Wright from Cambridgeshire, the 44-year-old, and uh, Joe Day in his all-dark kit tonight. Referee's checking, there are 22 players on the pitch. He blows his whistle, and uh, already Accrington get the ball through, but Darren Jones plays the ball forward to Gornell. It's come very deep. But County cut off the supply and it's with Aaron O'Connor who's racing towards the edge of the area. O'Connor plays it in. It's a chance. And it's nearly a goal for County from Story in the opening 30 seconds. Miles Story in the end and uh, well saved by... Yeah, it could, it could very well have been. Uh, Minchell's already won two balls in the end. County are going at them and they're doing very well here as uh, Story. But the keeper has to come out of his line and they look very lively in this opening period. Porter stays on the edge, as does uh, Sandell, who makes a run towards the near post. In it goes and it's headed. Oh, it's just over the bar. County, obviously... Got to stand firm. Ball is uh, back to the far side. In comes the cross, but that's high. It's over the bar. I think probably Windass is favourite to take this. We're in the ninth minute here. <coughs> Excuse me. So it is Windass. It goes long, and the ball is headed out to the far side. Jackson, yeah. Jackson's off. So he's struggling there. He's done something. So Jackson is coming off. So how will they shuffle about with this one now? Crooks plays it to the far side. The Camille County, I think it's uh, Mongolia, is it, on that far side? In comes the cross. Danger here. And again, all very hurriedly, but uh, Joe Day shouted mine, and he's come and he's taken it. Looking for Naismith. Takes one touch, left-footed, right in front of us. Two touches. Play touched on inside. Beautiful play there by Gornell, lays it off inside and it goes wide of goal and it's a goal kick to County plays the ball to Mingoya on that far side going forward, Accrington County are back pedalling, in comes the shot and it's a very good save and he had to parry it because I tell you what, that was death, that was the shot of the game so far Minchel goes for it but he's got to be careful in there but uh, they're coming through County again and they're looking strong, they're running directly at them and there's a chance here, and that's just over the bar from Joyce. Bit of a mystery at them. He's um, getting a bit of attention from the, the county. I don't know what's happening. He's just having a chat with him at the moment, isn't he? I don't know what the problem is. And he's now gone down. <laughs> not uh, Locals not impressed. The crowd don't obviously. like it, but obviously there's an injury there. Joe Day is OK now. Although he still looks a little bit... Uh, Oh, it's difficult to tell, isn't it, really? But anyway, free kick is taken. Ball is transferred in. Out it comes. And it's with Windass. And it's charged down. In comes the shot. It's taken a deflection. Stories in there. Minchel's more towards the near post as the ball is thrown in. Minchel heads it backwards. And it comes out. And it's headed by Byrne, but it's taken at the near post by Scott Davis. It's supposed to be four minutes. It's, it's more like the uh, more like six or nearly seven minutes. Certainly six. Yeah. Well, they do tell us a minimum four minutes, don't they? Well, yeah, so but six is, is going to be. Naismith's <laughs> played the ball in. It's headed into the arms of Day. Surely he'll blow his whistle now. He doesn't look. <coughs> excuse me, as though he's going to, but he has now. That is half time. It's going to be Aaron O'Connor to kick off. We're going to be underway very shortly. Referee blows his whistle. And the home side coming forward in the shape of Windass. Now they've got the ball to the edge of the area with Maguire. Shoots, and it's an early touch for Jamie Stevens. Stevens on his toes, hands above his head. As the ball is played in low and hard, and they're going to manage to clear this ball. And they do a mild story doesn't keep it in, it's a throw into the home side, more pressure on them, but uh, 
That was well done by Tutonda, but back the ball comes the other way. And they've managed to clear it. And it's gone for a goal kick. Naismith plays it inside to Gornell. Now they're coming at County. Now they're looking danger. There's danger here. And there's a snapshot and it's over the bar. It's high. It's another ball out the ground. It's probably going to be ball number six. Yakubu keeps his eye on this one. And ball is played inside and it's a free kick for no it's not the referee hasn't given it that was a surprise and uh, Porter looking to break up play and it's oh it's with Mars story oh he's taking it around the goalkeeper but the keeper recovered well he did everything there but Porter takes it to the byline he crosses it inside and the keeper it's in it's in it's Aaron O'Connor it's into the corner, it's Aaron O'Connor who's got it in the 21st minute of the second half and it seemed to creep in at the near post with the keeper beaten and it's Aaron O'Connor who's got the final touch. I think you've got to credit it to O'Connor. The only other thing it could have been is a Scott Davis' own goal and if, if he took it at the near post but I think they're crediting Aaron O'Connor and I think O'Connor has got the touch. 65 minutes gone and it's Aaron O'Connor who's put Newport County a goal ahead so it's O'Connor the top scorer Andrew Penman can you come in on this please I can Tim I'm not sure I can shed too much light now but well, Porter O'Connor. did well he's played a ball into the near post the keepers come down on it but I think that O'Connor has just nipped in in front of it yeah, and he seemed to be the only one aware that he'd scored there, wasn't he? Because certainly on this side of the, the They ground, congratulated him, they came towards to, him, didn't very they? Very hard to see, wasn't it? But uh, he was certainly claiming it. Winard throws it in. County now got their tails up, got to hold on to this lead. You're vulnerable when you've just scored. They're vulnerable now as the ball is played in, but it's high, it's over the bar. Byrne closing down Joyce. But Joyce gets a good-looking ball forward. There's danger here, but he's taking it slightly too far as he... Gornell taking it too far forward. He should have hit it first time. McCartan takes it inside. Inside Minchel. Take it inside. Tracked by Klukowski. He's running at County. But Klukowski again. He plays the short ball inside. There's danger here. But that's going to be a foul, surely. And it is a foul on Yakubu. It's Naismith. It goes long to the far side. Header comes in. And they're still trying to force it here but it's gone wide of goal and it's gone for a goal kick but he throws it towards the near post Minchel heads it backwards and the keeper gets it and grabs it at the far post these are going to be six long minutes for County as Joyce takes it forward tackle comes in referee says it's OK Winard crosses into the box danger and he hooks it wide of goal there does Cornell right footed and that's a good free kick gets to excellent distance on it it's going to have to be dealt with it is dealt with Porter helping back and he's had a fantastic second half as Max Port win the 42nd minute. As in comes a low cross, but it's a deflected county appeal for handball not given. In fact, it has been given. Now the ball is with the substitute. Gilchrist, they're coming forward, they're attacking county. There's danger here and great defending by Andy Sandell, who's cut across there. Mitchell holds on to it. Plays it to Max Porter. Porter plays it forward to O'Connor, who's taken out of it, who's fouled. I don't think he can uh, complain about the yellow card. And uh, O'Connor, can he get on? The referee wants to get on the pitch, and the referee's not taking notes. Accrington are coming forward with it, and he's now being allowed to get on the pitch. And quite rightly so, there is a problem here. So I'm trying to see who it is actually. It's Edgar Yakubu who's down. And actually, it was the fourth official. But he was stopping him from going onto the pitch. And that is not acceptable. But anyway, 47 minutes we could be playing. At least another two and a half, three minutes, I would have thought. Yakubu is up. He's going to have to come off before he can go back on. Yakubu will be allowed to be back on. The ball will be dropped. taken by Davis ball is played forward and uh, County have won it back with Byrne 
Byrne takes it forward. Does so well, Mark Byrne. He's running at them. He's played it inside. There's a chance here. 2 0. It's over now. And it's Sean Jeffers who's got it. Deep into stoppage time. It's Sean Jeffers, and the points are wrapped up. They're on their way back to South Wales. It is 2 0. And it's Sean Jeffers who's put it into an empty net. 490 plus 4. And it's 2 0. And County broke clear. It was a fine move. And a great pass was played through. It was Yakubu who got forward, way forward, who took the ball on and on and on. And he squared it unselfishly when he had the chance for a shot himself. And Sean Jeffers has put it into the empty net and it's over now. And County have put a distance of four points between themselves and the teams below them. And that puts the pressure on them all tomorrow. Ball is headed back the other way, only as far as Joyce. Joyce plays the ball over the top. Jones goes for it, and a great stop there by Stevens, who did well. Can County keep another clean sheet for a third successive game? In comes the corner kick, ball is headed out. There's the referee's whistle for the end of the game, and County have the points. They've won by two goals to nil here in Lancashire. Three deserved points, three massive, massive points, it has to be said. And County now sit in a very strong position, in a playoff position. And the others have got it all to do tomorrow.